Welcome back everyone to ViralStocks.io. Guys, I got a lot of good stocks to cover for you in today's video, but the main focus of today's video is going to be a short squeeze opportunity. Now, this could possibly be a short squeeze just like GME and AMC. I'm not talking about any tiny short squeeze movement here, and I'm not saying that it's actually going to happen, but no, if this does happen, we could possibly see a short squeeze movement just like GME and AMC, and that is just because of the nature of this company. Company. So I'm very excited to share it with you guys in today's video and do a little more deep DD so you guys can see exactly what I'm seeing within the company. But nevertheless, guys, this is ViralStocks.io. And if you guys do not already know what we do, we focus on short term high probability trading opportunities in the market. We are here to provide you with the absolute best opportunities in the NASDAQ, in the NYSE arena. Now, we obviously talk about a lot of good stocks on this channel. We call a lot of great opportunities like them all in like uh, BRQS was really the most recent one here GFAI and many many others a lot of oil stocks several months back many good stocks but if you want to uh, if you want to take it even a step further make sure you are signed up for our NASDAQ at NYSE penny stock alerts now we're not here to sell you anything whatsoever in fact all of our penny stock alerts are completely free not too many people out there can say that they actually do that so all these penny stock alerts are absolutely completely free so make sure you are signed up at viralstocks.io backslash sign up head to the link in the description below or it will be pinned in the first comment comment all you have to do is enter in your email address and then i highly urge you enter in your phone number as well so you're able to achieve these alerts or receive these alerts much faster and it's also way more efficient so make sure you do that we've had some amazing alerts on this channel even in a terrible market in fact we had one alert already this week and despite the spy literally falling i think it was i mean it was it, it was the biggest fall of the week on SPY. Our alert was still up over 10% in a very, very short amount of time. And that is a very quick and easy win for our investors. So congratulations to all of you guys. But we've had many wins all the way, 30, 40, 50% and over 100% gain. So make sure you're a part of that, guys. I do not want you guys missing out on that. Obviously, in the past is not indicative of what can happen in the future here, right? So anything can happen in the future and we are not financial advisors whatsoever. I also want to tell you, we may just have an alert coming up at the end of this week. Just make sure you guys are signed up so you don't miss out on any of those stock alerts. But anyways, before we get into this short squeeze opportunity that I really want to talk so much to you guys about, let's give a quick update on a couple stocks. The first one is BRQS. Obviously, this stock had a nice rally. Even since we talked about it here on the channel, it's had a pretty nice rally. Now, it's important that you guys take your profit. So actually, someone commented on our last video here. I am up 70% and considering to sell, to be honest. Of course, I answered. Not financial advice. Advice. None of it's financial advice, of course, but I would definitely be thinking of selling and moving on to the next play. Congrats. A 70% win is absolutely amazing. Shout out to you guys. Um, and you definitely should consider taking profits at this point, right? You don't want to keep on holding and holding and holding. Ultimately, you're going to get left holding the bag. What we do on this channel is we focus on profit. Take those profits. We're not here for the, you know, forever. This isn't our, our long-term stock. If you want to re get 10% return, uh, you know, every single year for the next decade, just invest in the S&P 500 right? We're small cap investors here that want to capitalize on big gains in a short amount of time and get out and move on to the next play. So just wanted to highlight there real quick. Also, DWAC, this is a stock that we talked about many times on the channel, but also just a few days ago, because we knew it was getting absolutely killed and, and going way down because of everything happening with Twitter. As we can see, DWAC was able to reach its bottom around $33 and shot all the way up to 40 or shot up 43% uh, all the way up to what did it hit? It hit almost $50. I think it did hit $50 at one point in time there. But anyway, as you guys can see, tremendous opportunities here in the market. Now, let's get to that short squeeze play here. So the stock that I'm talking about, we already talked about it the other day, but not very in-depth at all, is Redbox, RDBX. Like I mentioned, guys, I think... If this stock squeezes, not saying it will, but if it does, I think we could really see an AMC and GME type of movement here. That is because of the company they are. You're going to see many similarities when we compare the companies here. And also, you're going to see that the short interest is going absolutely crazy on this stock. So let's start to talk about it here. So Redbox rips over 40% higher as volume spikes again. Scrolling down, we can see, as noted, during last week's run to the upside, 
1.13 million shares are held short in a float of just 2.77 million shares per Morningstar data. This is also a very small market cap company. They have been destroyed lately. Their stock price is going down. Their market cap is obviously going down as well. And despite the dramatic uh, rise in price in the past week, the stock still remains 70% below its peak price. So what we need to know here, the stock price is continuing to fall. To fall. Well, it was before we're starting to see a little bit of glimpse up here. The stock chart also looks like it's bottoming out all while the uh all while all the short interest numbers can continue to go up higher and higher as we can see from the stock chart here it hit a bottom down at about 161 and this has been the bottom it doesn't really want to break and it's pretty much been continuing up from here now I do want to highlight this. As far as a resistance level goes, the next resistance here, which was previous support and previous resistance, and then when it broke, it really, really broke hard. So this signifies a good level of support and resistance right here is going to be at about 5.2. So 5.2 could be a level of resistance. If we get rejected, we could be heading back down. If we break, we could be heading up quite substantially. I mean, we could be heading up well over $6, possibly even to $9 or $10. So we definitely want to see that break above 5.2 there. But let's get into a little bit deeper of DD right now, due diligence, so you guys can start to understand this a little bit better. It says Redbox, a short squeeze and growth candidate, Redbox due diligence. So obviously, you guys should know what Redbox is, right? Little kiosks, um, you know, you've seen them before, McDonald's, um, Rite Aid, Walmart, Walgreens, all those different places where you can ultimately pay a couple dollars, um, get the DVDs out, and then go return them, right? So this is, you know, brick and mortar, if you will. Not necessarily, but it is, which is kind of a relationship to GME and AMC. So it says, well, I don't think Redbox will ever reach the same heights as GME. I know that Redbox is one of the last brick and mortar businesses with a short interest over 40%. That is absolutely huge. So yes, Redbox can experience a GME or AMC type movement. And I think this is possible as well. Uh, and you're going to see that when we go into some details here as well as all these short interests. So it says, from a social media sentiment standpoint, Redbox is a household name. They hold, uh, uh, It says that holds a lot of nostalgia. The That alone can can be one of the driving forces of this squeeze and I could easily see this being one of the next meme stocks since it's since it has uh, since it has, uh, sorry, stellar short interest numbers to back up the 20 year old nostalgic name with momentum catching like wildfire. So I agree with all of this 100%. The short interest numbers are absolutely insane. Redbox is a household name. It's getting destroyed. Shorts are attacking it. I mean, it's very similar to AMC and GME. And just like this says, the QR code made a comeback. So why can't we? Redbox could definitely make a comeback here. It's trading at just under uh, $3 per share. And they also have known growth ahead. Many catalyst ahead there is definitely a possibility for a short squeeze to happen here and i think if it does it's gonna be pretty massive so taking a look here at some of these short squeeze data as we can see estimated short interest is over 40 percent and we're gonna look at some of the updated uh short interest data and some of this or text data here in a, in a few minutes here on one of the next articles but anyways utilization is 100 percent for the last seven days i can't stress the importance of that that is very 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 big cost to borrow 154 shares to short zero that means there is zero shares essentially for them to short which mean you know uh, it, which basically means that they can't borrow any more shares to short, right? When they're shorting shares into the market, it's ex it's essentially driving down that stock price, right? They're creating dilution essentially and driving down the stock price, right? So shorts, when companies, especially hedge funds with that big amount of shares that short a stock, ultimately it does it drive down the price of that stock, right? And, you know, you can use that as, you know, I don't want to say manipulation, but allegedly some form of manipulation, right? The stock runs up, hedge funds can continue to keep borrowing shares and shorting shares back in the market and ultimately just creating dilution and you know continuing to make the stock price go down and down and down right but when there's zero shares essentially to borrow how are they going to do that, right? So we could see this stock, just another reason why I really, really like it. Utilization at 100% is absolutely great. Um, we can also see off exchange short volume ratio, 53.87%, short volume, 52.73%. So, I mean, the short interest numbers are second to none. AMC had a great squeeze and they were never that, they were never that good, right? GME was, but AMC was never that good and it had, it had a pretty good squeeze. I mean, People will hate on it that it didn't squeeze, but hey, maybe it could, but it didn't squeeze yet to thousands and thousands of dollars, uh, you know, per share. But I mean, come on, that stock went from what, like, I think it hit lows at like $5 per share all the way up to what? 
70 some i mean come on that was a movement that was pretty awesome at least in my eyes and who knows like i said it could still have more potential but anyways like it says here from this graph we can see lots of squeeze factors at play here many of which are contributing to the squeeze there is a significant decline in price down over 90 percent from its highs while all the squeeze factors continue to get higher i like all of those numbers that is absolutely great and we're finally starting to see red box pop all over twitter all over stock twits the momentum is coming in there's absolutely absolutely no doubt and just like it says here as far as the technical aspect of it goes i mean there's limited downside to this this is a three dollar stock um the low is one dollar and 61 cents it pretty much bottomed out there i can't see the stock going down any lower than that so pretty limited downside here you know as far as it goes now when we look at resistance levels it could be up here around what i say five five point something i can't exactly remember that could that would be my possible next resistance right um we can actually go back here. What did I say it was? I'm curious now. Yeah, so like 5.18 or so. 5. Point, what did, what did, okay, 5.2. It looks like it's at 5.2. So yeah, around 5.2. What do they have it at here? 5.041. So yeah, somewhere around there, right, is where we could see the next resistance possibly be. Um, anyways, in addition to that, many catalysts coming along, many PRs ahead all which could really cause you know red bucks to go up because think about it you know it's kind of like the same thing with amc people started investing into amc because you know they you know, it was very overvalued, but nevertheless, it still had that potential to also grow. Now they're taking strides to better the company and do all those things. And, and it just really added fuel to the fire to ultimately make the stock continue to go up. And you're going to see the same thing with Redbox here. All these potential catalysts, all the all the PRs coming up, this could get, you know, potentially long-term investors to invest in the stock at a great deal, which with the short interest, the way it is, all the short squeeze numbers, the way it is with no more shares to borrow, you see where I'm kind of going with this? It could be pretty good. So anyways, I could continue on here. This article is super long and I really like it. And I really think you guys should give it a read, but I'm going to end it there as far as uh, this DD goes. If you guys want me to go more in depth, leave me a comment down below. And also, if you guys want to get updates on Redbox and if we send out any alerts on Redbox, make sure you're signed up at viralstocks.io with your email and make sure you're signed up with your phone number so you guys can get these messages as quick as possible. That is going to be most important, right? Because we possibly will be sending an alert out on Redbox if we see it meet our scanner big catalyst coming up and we see some big short squeeze potential but updated numbers here pretty much all the same uh, utilization remains at 100 percent i mean i can't even tell you how good that is short interest is up to 48 percent now and you guys can pause the screen and kind of look at all the cost to borrow stuff if you're interested in that but anyways that is it for Redbox. there's other stocks shooting up in the market pretty much at all hours we have vivk up over 100 percent triple digit gainer today shout out to anyone that was able to get into that this is a biotech stock obviously and they move quick and they were able to secure a 10-year contract worth up to 250 million dollars then we also have tpst another nasdaq biotech stock had some great news here about you know presentations at an upcoming annual meeting and obviously that stock shot up as well so every single day there are stocks in the market that are shooting up red box is an opportunity here maybe not for tomorrow but for the long term if you will short squeeze right the potential for the short squeeze is there but every single day we will be identifying opportunities in the market to ultimately uh, talk about on the channel but also the big ones we will be sending out as an alert and we only send out alerts maybe once or twice a week only when we see those opportunities present themselves but you can believe they're going to be the very best opportunities that we have i can't guarantee they'll be winners but they will be our very best opportunities right and hey I can't guarantee future results, but our, our uh, track record has been pretty good. In fact, we haven't had a loser yet. So anyways, go, though, guys, that is really all I have for you guys in today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I hope to see you over there on the alerts, and hopefully I can give you guys some winners. If we do, uh, make sure and leave some feedback in the comments below. I always love to see that. You know, people are leaving us comments. They made over 100%, made 50%, made 30%. That's, that stuff's always amazing to see. So that's all I got for you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one.